today. In this session, we are going to discuss about solving problems involving integers. Example number one. A football team lost 4 yards, gained 9 yards, gained 21 yards, lost 16 yards, and lost 14 yards. What was the net loss or net gain in the yards? Since ang ating ginahanap dito is net loss or net gain, meaning ia-add natin lahat ng kanilang gains. Alright? So, we are going to represent the given in two integers. So, how? So, syempre, we have loss and gain dito. Therefore, si lost is a negative numbers and si gained is a positive number. If you are going to represent it, so we have, for us to find the net loss and net gain, i-add lang natin lahat ng kanilang laro. Alright? So, since we have here lost, okay, una laro nila ay lost, negat, uh, 4 yards, that is negative 4. Add natin sa susunod na laro niya, which is gained 9 yards though. So, plus positive 9. Then, next, gain plus uh, 21 yards. Therefore, plus positive 21. Next, lost 16 yards. So, plus negative 16. And lost 14 yards. Therefore, plus negative 14. So, that is it. Then, we are going to find for the sum of these four, uh, 5 numbers. So, for us to find the sum of four numbers, so, para mas madali, unahin mo muna lahat ng positive. Pag samasamahin lahat ng positive, pag samasamahin lahat ng negative. Kasi same sign, you are going to add and keep the sign. So, let us have the positive numbers. So, ito muna, pos positive numbers. Let us add. So, 9 plus 21, that is positive 30. So, that is the positive 1. How about the negative numbers? So, i-add lang natin yung negative numbers. Ayan. Then, keep the sign. So, plus. So, we have here negative 4 plus negative 16. That is negative 20. So, negative 20 plus 14. So, we have here negative 34. That is it. Then, combine. 30 plus negative 34. The answer here is negative 4. Why negative 4? They are different in sign. So, you are going to subtract. So, 34 minus 30. The answer is 4. Why negative? The higher number is 34, which is the sign is negative. Kaya, kailangan ang final answer mo should be negative. Since your answer is negative here, therefore, we have 4 yards net loss. Okay? So, this is now your answer. We have 4 yards net loss. Bakit net loss? Kasi negative yung answer natin. Okay? So, this is now your final answer. Number 2. Barangay received 800,000 pesos for the economic relief of the residents. But, the barangay spends 970,000 pesos. How much is the deficit? Let us analyze the problem. It says that barangay received 800,000 pesos. But, they spend 970,000 pesos. So, how much is the deficit? So, meaning, magkano daw yung kulang doon sa pinadala sa kanila sa kanilang residensya. So, we have subtraction here. Okay? So, since they are spending 970,000 pesos, 970,000 pesos, we are going to subtract it to 800,000. So, ito yung pinadala sa kanila, ito yung nag nila. So, therefore, if we are going to subtract this one, the answer is 30,000 pesos. So, 30,000 pesos is the deficit. So, ito yung kulang doon sa pinadalang pera sa kanilang barangay. Is it clear? So, ganun lang kasimple. You are going to subtract. So, kailangan mo lang alamin kung addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division yung, kino, yung hinahanap ng problem natin. Number 3. Starting at the 11th floor, an elevator went down 5 floors, then up 2 floors, then up and down 5 floors. Locate the elevator. So, dito, addition and subtraction lang ulit. So, we have here, pag down, so minus, pag up, plus. ba? So, start with 11 floor. So, 11 floor, an elevator went down 5 floors, so minus 5. Then, up 2 floors, so plus 2. Then, down 5 floors, down ulit 5 floors. So, let us locate the elevator. 
So, 11. 11. O, pagsamahin ulit natin yung pangapositive. So, 11 plus 2. The answer here is um, 13. Then, samahin natin yung dalawang negative. So, plus negative 5 plus 5. The answer is 10. So, the answer is equal to 3. So, we have third floor. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay? O po, pwede rin namang. 11 minus 5 is 6. 6 plus 2, we have 8. 8 minus 5, the answer is 3. Okay? So, nasa inyo kung paano yung strategy nyo siya i-add or subtract. Alright? So, let's have another one. Number 4. A car park located near the fast food charges 10 pesos per hour. If Mark parked his car at 8 a.m. and left the car park by 11 a.m., how much needs to pay? So, dito, we need to find how many hours na nakapark yung sasakyan ni Mark. So, what you are going to do, you are going to subtract 11 minus 8. So, 11, 11 minus 8, the answer is 3. So, 3 hours. So, from 8 to 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay? So, 3 hours na nakapark yung kanyang sasakyan doon. Since we have 3 hours, then 10 pesos per hour, so what you are going to do? So, we are going to find for the product or we are going to use multiplication. So, meaning 10 pesos multiplied by 3, the answer is 30 pesos. So, that is it. So, 30 pesos yung kailangan niyang bayaran. Okay? So, ulitin ko, kailangan yung intindihin mabuti yung question para malaman niyo yung operation na i-apply ninyo. Is it clear? Let us have another one. Number 5. The price of a share of stocks increased 25 pesos. If the increase was spread equally over 5 days, how much did the price increase in 1 day? So, what operations we are going to apply? Okay, so we have division. Why division? Kasi sabi niya, um, if the increase is spread equally for 5 days. Okay, so nag-increase nga siya ng 25 pesos yung stocks nila. If the increase was spread equally over 5 days, how much is the price in 1 day? So, meaning, um, yung 25 pesos, siya ay hati-hati na in 5 days. So, since hati-hati siya in 5 days, i-divide natin siya para makuha natin yung increase in 1 day. So, therefore, we have here 25 pesos over 5. So, in each day, 25 divided by 5, the answer is 5 pesos. So, 5 pesos increase in 1 day. So, that is it. So, that's how you are going to solve problems involving integers. So, hopefully, may natutunan kayo for this lesson. And, kung meron pa kayong ibang questions, comment lang kayo sa ating comment box na matulungan ko kayo. Okay? So that's all. So thank you for listening. Bye bye.